Imagine waking up every single day in constant pain, breathing through machines, and never feeling human touch again. That's the everyday reality of one of the most iconic villains in the galaxy. In today's video, we're diving deep into the darkest corners of science fiction. What really happened to Anakin Skywalker? How he survived one of the most brutal moments in all of Star Wars? And whether a regular human could actually endure life inside that terrifying suit? If you're into science, nerd culture, and the kind of questions no one dares to ask, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and come with us on this journey through pain, survival, and the dark side. Before he became Darth Vader, he was Anakin Skywalker, a Jedi prodigy, master of the Force, and hero of the Clone Wars. But behind the glory and galactic fame, Anakin was fighting his own demons, fear, anger, and a forbidden love. Throughout the prequels, we saw him perform incredible feats, superhuman reflexes, telekinetic control, and the ability to predict enemy movements like he was seeing the future. He piloted like a legend, fought entire armies on his own, and wielded the force with a raw intensity that few could match. But what truly defined his story was the fall. Manipulated by Palpatine, seduced by the dark side, and driven by the desperate desire to save Padme, Anakin gave in to the shadows. And then came the final duel with Obi-Wan on Mustafar, a battle that destroyed not just his body, but his soul. And speaking of destruction, up next we're breaking down exactly what happened in that hellish moment on Mustafar. Could an ordinary person even survive something that extreme? If you're loving this deep dive into the science of Star Wars, drop a comment with your favorite dark side character. It helps the algorithm and fuels our nerdy obsessions. All right, back to Mustafar. Now picture this, losing three limbs and then being burned alive by volcanic lava. Sounds like Hollywood exaggeration? That's literally what Anakin went through. During his fight with Obi-Wan, Anakin had both of his legs severed, plus the one army had left. Immobilized on the edge of a lava river, he was blasted by extreme heat, suffered third and fourth degree burns across more than 65% of his body, enough to char flesh, bone, and even internal organs. In real life medicine, burns over 40% of the body are considered critical. Even with today's best technology, survival rates hover around 50%. Anakin blew past that threshold, and to top it off, he inhaled superheated gases, which obliterated his lungs. In trauma wards, patients with injuries this severe are often labeled as expectant, a clinical term that means focus resources elsewhere, translation, no hope. But somehow, he survived. At an unimaginable cost, with no anesthesia, he endured surgery where every graft, every implant, Every reconstruction was done while fully conscious. Palpatine wanted him to feel every second of it. Pain, after all, would be the glue between Anakin and the dark side. To put this in perspective, a deep burn usually requires months in intensive care, countless skin grafts, and grueling physical therapy. Now add multiple amputations, collapsed lungs, and no chance of rest or comfort. And that's just the physical side. Psychologically, limb loss is strongly linked to depression, anxiety, and even identity disorders. Multiply that by three amputations, near lethal burns, and a shredded respiratory system. The trauma would be unbearable for almost anyone. Most of us wouldn't make it, but that's where things get even darker because the pain didn't stop. It became permanent. It became the suit. Next up, we'll peel back the layers of Vader's armor. And trust me, what's underneath is more terrifying than you ever imagined. Surviving was only the beginning. To keep Anakin alive, his body had to be fused to a machine. But this machine wasn't built for comfort. It was engineered for suffering. Vader's suit is, functionally, a mobile torture chamber. Its inner lining is covered with micro needles that constantly pierce his skin. They're not just for monitoring or medication. They're there to make sure he never goes a second without pain. Why? Because pain keeps him tied to the dark side. 
It's his fuel. His helmet, a nightmare of its own. It grants infrared and ultraviolet vision to compensate for his burned eyes, but also completely isolates him from the world. He can't breathe normally, can't feel wind or temperature, and can only remove it inside specially sealed chambers. Imagine never again feeling a breeze or the touch of another person. And it doesn't stop there. Vader eats through feeding tubes, his waste is processed mechanically, and sleep is nearly impossible. The constant sound of his respirator combined with chronic pain creates a sensory deprivation loop that leads to severe psychological stress. For any normal person, it would be a mental breakdown waiting to happen. Suit maintenance is relentless. Necrotic tissue has to be scraped away, circuits cleaned, tubing replaced. One minor malfunction could mean instant death. And then there's the Sith Academy. The suit isn't just tech, it's infused with dark side energy, a mix of magic and machinery designed to amplify his pain and, with it, his power. It's a prison, a lab, a weapon, all rolled into one. Current research in exoskeletons and prosthetics is advancing fast, but we're nowhere near the full body integration seen in Vader's suit. And even if we could replicate it, the mental toll of living like that would destroy most people. But what if someone could endure it? What if someone could turn pain into power? That's exactly what we're exploring next. Darth Vader isn't just a powerful villain. He's the living embodiment of pain transformed into strength. He survived the impossible. He was burned, mutilated, reconstructed, and sealed inside a mechanical prison. And yet, he became one of the most powerful beings in the universe. While most spiral into madness or despair, he found purpose and power in his agony. But now the big question, could you survive in Vader's armor? Could you wake up every day locked inside that suit, breathing through tubes in constant pain, totally isolated? Let us know in the comments. Would you last a day as the Sith Lord, or would your mind break before the first maintenance cycle? If you made it this far, you're officially part of the Nerd Elite. Hit that like button, subscribe for more science meets pop culture deep dives, and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss a descent into the dark side of science. Until next time, may the Force and a really good painkiller be with you. May the Force be with you.